What's going on, Charles Bowden? So part two is gonna be me actually explaining in person, in my apartment, about my evening routine, but I want you to at least understand the, the, di the dynamics behind it. So I talked about the importance of the morning routine. If you haven't seen the morning routine, my morning routine, go check it out. It's super important that you have a, a morning and an evening routine. So number one is, why do you need a, an evening routine? No, it, it, this is why, because you're watching usually something that's on TV or your screen that emits blue light and blue light, back in the day, we didn't have lighting. We didn't have, we, we just relied on natural lighting for millions of years. So this whole thing with electricity is completely new to our system and we're not used to it. We're used to blue light in the morning and throughout the day and an evening light, which is amber light, and once we see the amber light, they already know, our body knows amber light, we begin shutting down, and then we had no light. There was no light for millions of years, and now we have all this artificial light. So you need the evening routine where you cut off all your TV, all of your internet, all of your phone use at least an hour before bed. Why? Look at the studies on sleep. If you look at any screen, any artificial light, even light lighting above, and at, be, at least uh, before you go to bed, you're gonna stay awake because your body thinks it's still daylight because you're, you're looking at it. They also, they, they say that your skin sees. I don't know if that's true, but you know, that, that makes sense. So number one is the latest that I have food is seven o'clock because I'm in bed by nine o'clock. So I'm home. First thing I do, I don't turn on TV. I don't check my phone or anything. I get home and I need to get undressed and put everything away because that habit in of itself sets you up for the morning routine. That's the trigger for, uh, for your morning routine, for your evening routine. That's the trigger for my evening routine is that put everything away, get into my whatever clothes, my night clothes, my bedtime clothes, whatever. If I'm going out on a date or whatever or a social event is put everything away. Put my gym bag away with all my clothes, throw in the dirty laundry, put the bag away and clean everything away. Then I put on my Bose headphones and you can have any headphones. And while I'm doing this, I'm listening to TubeX, T-U-B-E-X is an amazing app. You can listen to YouTube videos at two times the speed, which I highly recommend. So a 10 minute clip is only five minutes, 20 minute clip is only 10 minutes. So number one is if I'm drinking alcohol, I only have one drink, max. And the latest I'm gonna drink is nine o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry, it's eight o'clock. It's a hard stop at eight o'clock. And this is one of the hardest things. I'm a single guy, I go out on dates, I'm also, you know, I have a company. So this is one of the hardest things is because if there's an event, if there's a client that needs you, if there's a dinner or you're out on a date, is that people want you to drink multiple drinks. They want you to be out till nine or 10 or 11. I just know when I do that, I don't get ample sleep and then I'm hungover and then I don't have a good morning routine, which you need a morning routine. If you don't have a good morning routine, then you don't have a good day. If you don't have a good day, you don't have a good evening, and then it's just a cyclical downward spiral. So alcohol, one drink max. Uh, I have a hard stop at 8 p.m. I don't do any work, I don't do any email, I don't do any socializing after 7 p.m. That's it. There's, there's something called uh, lights down shut off or I, I forgot what they they call it but there, there's this guy unbelievable uh, Brian Johnson highly recommend checking him out and subscribing to his his YouTube channel and he talks about it where him and his family they turn off everything I don't own a TV anyway but they turn off everything and they spend family time together their body shuts down they're not looking at any unnatural artificial light before they go to bed uh, number one is there's something called flux it's an amazing uh, program, F-L-U-X, and you can use that on your computer. So if, in case it's seven o'clock and you're on your computer, it's an amber light. And if you're on your phone, obviously they have the, the night shift, which is amazing. I also have hue lighting, it's very expensive. However, it's dialed, hue lighting is dialed into my Wi-Fi. And instead of bright lights like this, I'm at my office, but instead of bright lights like this, I turn it down to amber lighting in inside my entire apartment. So I just press a button and it's a, it's a templated lighting system. So it just goes to whatever that, so you could, I have bright, I have when I arrive in my apartment, and then I have right before bed. And it's templated to really dim lighting where it's just enough and it's amber lighting. So I highly recommend that if you have the money for it. It's called Hue Lighting. GE puts it out or I forgot who puts it out, but all the links are below. All right, uh, moving on. At 7 p.m., I actually, I blog on the lowest dim setting on my, uh, my iPad and that takes about 10 minutes. That's it, so I blog. 
and then I put my phone on airplane mode. So there's no phone at all. I put everything on airplane mode. I shut everything down. 7.30, I begin to journal, the five minute journal. There's only three questions, which was what, what great happened in your day today? And then the last question is what could you have improved? So that's the five minute journal, unbelievable. Then there's a book called The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. And I read one of the entries in there and essentially stoicism is about, um, it's, it's about, Anything external, like weather or the environment or the economy or anything like that, you, you can't, you can't, you can't change. You, you only change and you only focus on things that you can do, that you can affect. And you look for the daily habits rather than the outcomes. Like, yeah, you want a certain outcome. Perfect example. Say I, I am making sales calls and I stop making sales calls, yet I still want business. Getting business is the outcome. I want business. But the thing is I stopped making sales calls, which is the habits, those are the routines. Those are the things that I need to do to get the outcome, but I stopped doing that, so I'm not gonna get any outcome. They said focus on the routine of doing something. Focus on studying so the outcome of your test is higher. You don't know what's gonna be on the test. You have a good idea and a better idea when you study, so focus on the study. Focus on the process. Invest in the process, which is an unbelievable thing I recently heard. Invest in the process. So. Also, my placeholders within the book are things that I need to focus on. You know, a couple of them are in the video, which is unstoppable, obsessed, uh, not outcome oriented, process oriented. You know, so I read through those and it's, it's my bookmark within my book. So instead of having a dollar bill or a hundred dollars or whatever, I just put it things in that I need to remember. So it's always a daily reminder. Daily reminder. Continue doing that. I have study music on as I take the blog. Uh, I then get all my clothes ready for the next morning because when I wake up the next morning, I just want to pack my gym bag. I want to have everything laid out. I highly recommend doing this. Honestly, this is such a game changer, having everything ready for the morning because if you don't and you have to search for it, it's already willpower. You're like, what am I going to wear? Does this match? Uh, shoes and socks and underwear and belt and you know my jacket, my tie, especially if you're in business. And it's like, you don't want to drain any of that willpower in the morning, so put it out the night before. I then put on, actually before that, probably around seven o'clock, I put on these, these amber lights, these amber lights, amber glasses. And there's ones that are like five or $10, and those were the ones that I had before. Now I have ones that are more stylish. I think they're called Swannies, but they're like $70, $80. You don't need those. But essentially, it's putting, it's putting amber light all around your eyes, so you're looking through the orange. And I'm telling you right now, it's a game changer because once I started doing that, my body would start slowly shutting down. By the time I hit my bed, I was exhausted, I was out. Because your body is like, okay, it's like the sun is setting. You're, that's what your mind thinks about subconsciously. It's like, you're around all this artificial light, they think it's during the day. Imagine just trying to just fall asleep right now. It's like, no, no, no. Like, how do you go from day into night without your body thinking, oh, okay, the sun is setting, which is the amber on everything that you own, the lighting, hue lighting, obviously the glasses, highly recommend that. I also have the lighting tied up to my Alexa, tied up. <laughs> Uh, on my Alexa, so Alexa is the Amazon Echo, I think is the name of it. So I say lights off, so I'm in bed, I just say lights off. I usually read from a book instead of uh, a Kindle, and I have this, this light that emits amber onto it. Why, why is this important, all right? Let's just go over that because it seems like a lot. You're like, Charles, you come home and you, do, you put the bag away and then you blog and then you put on your amber lights and then da da da. The reason this is important is because if you wanna be successful, this is the level you need to do. Everyone else is doing what you're doing and what I was doing for 10 years. I took little things from other people and I incorporated it into this, this evening routine. This evening routine is only about an hour. We're already doing a routine. We're coming home from school or work our job, whatever the case is, we're just stripping down, putting our shit everywhere, putting our bag away, and then we're putting on TV or going for a cylinder, going for a cold one. It's like, no, no, no. That's the worst routine. That's what I did for 10 years, and that's why I didn't move up at all. You need to have an evening routine, which goes to your morning routine, and you layer that confidence you're unstoppable. I just did a book review of Relentless with Timothy Grover, Tim Grover, and he talks about the cleaners. The cleaners are unstoppable. They have, they, have, they have this dark side that they want to prove themselves wrong. They want to prove coaches wrong. They, they just are so competitive, and that's me. Is that if you really want to get anywhere in this life, there, there's a famous quote with Jeff Bezos, someone called him up, 
and they asked him to do something for on like a Wednesday and he said, are you kidding me? He goes, you want me to incorporate that into my life? He goes, I'm trying to save 10 seconds or 30 seconds on brushing my teeth. I wanna brush my teeth faster. I wanna find a way to do things more efficiently. How insane is that? He wants to do things so efficiently that he's worried about 30 seconds in his life. Those are the cleaners. Those are the rock stars. Those are the ones that make a dent in the world. All right, so then I'll just talk about the current book that I'm reading is Tools of Titans, which is by, what's his name? Tools of Titans, he wrote Four Hour Work Week, and I see his name, Timothy Ferris. And great book, I'm gonna do a book review on that. It's a huge book, it's like, uh, you know, eight, 900 pages right around there, so it's gonna take me a little bit. I'm in bed, asleep by 9 p.m., lights off, and then I have blinders and blackout shades. Uh, yeah, so this is massive. If you have any light, if you have any music or any sound, you're not gonna fall asleep. And if you fall asleep, yeah, you'll fall asleep eventually. But the thing is, you're not gonna have a deep theta wave sleep. Theta waves is the deepest sleep that you can get. I think it's the, the deepest sleep that you can get. And essentially, you're, you're in such a deep sleep, it's REM sleep, which is r rapid eye movement. And REM sleep is, you wanna have more of that. And the only way to have more of that is if there's no light, because when you have light, your body thinks that it's daylight and your body says, we need to get up, we need to protect ourselves. There could be predators, there could be you know, war or famine or something that's gonna kill us. So, you know, Fight or flight, survival. So highly recommend blinders. Blinders are just these things that go over your eyes. I have the full one that goes around my whole head because I live in New York City. So kind of, you know, the, there's no sound. Oh, there is sound that comes in, but I wanna minimize the sound. I also have blackout shades. Blackout shades means that no sun comes in. And the last thing I wanna say, because it's obviously pushing the limit, is start small, start small. It's, it's taken me 10 years, like I said, in my morning routine to have a routine, and I failed all the time. And one of the biggest things that I now do is I quantify it. So the only way to quantify it is there's this app called Streaks. I think I paid uh, $2, $3 for it. And it's one of those things that it keeps me accountable. You're, you're allowed to have six things, and this, it's a streak of things that you're doing. Morning routine, going to the gym, not eating sugar, making sales calls, doing accounting work, saving, whatever the case is. You can, and it does it per day, or in the evening, or in the nights, and you can say just on weekends, or just on Mondays, or just weekdays, whatever the case is. And then you can see the streak as you actually go throughout your life and say, okay, why was this month successful? It's because I did my morning routine almost every single day. So that's it, is it, you have to keep yourself accountable. You have to start small. You don't have to go as big or as expensive. Like there's a couple things like Hue Lighting or Alexa or the, the Swannies, you don't have to do that. But do little things like that, which is don't turn on your lights, have really dim lights, uh, buy the $10 shades, Download Flux on your computer, which is free. Put on the night shift on your iPhone to start at 5 p.m., which is me, and I'm in bed by nine, I'm asleep by nine, and it's taken me years, and that's that's really the biggest thing is that um, I have a link below, obviously, to and a part two of me actually going through it. However, really, what you want to see is what it like. What do I do because it's taken me 10 years and it's 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 been a hell of a ride, and now I love my evening routine. So have an awesome day. I really appreciate it. All the links are below. The post, which has everything and the timing and more about it, is below as well. So. Leave your comments, subscribe to the video, let me know if you have any questions, I'll definitely answer it. Have an awesome day, talk to you guys soon.